Hello and welcome to IO Live. I'm Timothy Jordan and I'm standing here with Jeff Dean, the head of AI at Google. Hi, Tim. Thanks. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. All right, let's start with a background of Google's work in AI. So we've been using machine learning and AI for the last 20 years in some of our products, but in the last five or six years, we've really sort of dramatically accel accelerated our use of machine learning and AI into more and more of our products. We've really used it to make our products more intelligent, to make them sort of more accessible, to really improve the product and build products that we couldn't build any other way. What's new with uh, the technology that we're making available, say, the last year and at I.O.? In the last year, uh, for example, we've made really great strides in, in improving TensorFlow, our open source machine learning system. Uh, one of the things I'm really excited about is the TensorFlow.js uh, release, which essentially allows TensorFlow programs to be run in the browser just as normal web pages with uh, sort of machine learning embedded code in them. And it, it's really easy for people to create really interesting new machine learning applications and then people to run them by just loading up a web page. It's, it's pretty fantastic. And, uh, and TPUs? So we released, uh, announced the third version of our TPU uh, processor line, it's custom machine learning accelerators. Uh, the TPU V3 is really, really exciting. It's, it's uh, quite hot, so it actually is our first liquid-cooled processor that's in our data center. Um, and the pods uh, are actually larger scale than the TPU pods that we announced last year, so they're eight times as powerful, more than 100 petaflops of compute, which is just an unbelievable amount of compute. And the really exciting thing is that allows us to make sort of more accurate models, machine learning models, that can um, train on more data, that can train more powerful and more accurate models, and then we can use that to improve our products. I think one of the things that makes me most excited about the technology that we're making available, it is, it's that whole spectrum. All the way from TensorFlow.js, which is a very accessible way to get into machine learning, and AutoML, all the way up to TPUs, so like our advanced users have all that compute to do cool stuff with. Yeah, I mean, I think you, there's going to be a lot of different uh, levels of expertise and experience in using machine learning. We want to make all of them able to use machine learning to improve their, their products and lives. All right, so let's talk about what people are doing with machine learning as we're getting there. Uh, what are some things that people are, out, are doing in the world of machine learning that you're the most excited about? Yeah, so there's like lots of different applications. I, one that I'm really passionate about is the use of machine learning to improve healthcare. I think there's a real opportunity there um, for both kind of medical imaging related problems. We've been doing a lot of work on diabetic retinopathy and other kinds of medical imaging problems, but also in how uh, patients' uh, lives are affected, how doctors are able to care for patients with making better decisions. A lot of advances there, it's gonna be great. Okay, so there's these big problems that we're tackling with machine learning. What about everyday problems? Is there something that you encounter every day that you would love somebody to apply AI to? Yeah, I mean, I think as you start to have a machine learning lens as you walk around the world, <laughs> uh, you can see things that, that could be better. Uh, for example, when I pull up to a stoplight and it's red and it's, there's no cars coming the other direction, that's just silly, right? <laughs> we should have computer vision based stoplights that just uh, allow people to go when it's safe to go. And that, that would be like a simple improvement in the world that would uh, improve lots of people's lives. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. And thank you for watching IO Live. To learn more about what Google is doing in AI and ML, head on over to google.ai. And to catch more videos like this, head on over to g.co slash io slash guide.